a storied tradition at Bay Hill, brought to life by one of the game's greats at the Arnold Palmer Invitational, presented by MasterCard in Orlando, Florida, where Tiger Woods sets his sights on his eighth title. Tiger Woods is a winner again. And his third win of the year. It's all about W's, that's what he's always said. With Tiger's familiar tale of dominance, he looks to repeat history, but 131 of the world's best are determined to rewrite it. The star-studded cast includes nine past Arnold Palmer Invitational champions and eight of the top 10 players in the FedEx Cup standings. For the final event of the Florida Swing, who will shake hands with Arnie on the 18th green and claim victory in the footsteps of legends? The PGA Tour is proud to bring you the race for the 2013 FedEx Cup and the 2013 Arnold Palmer Invitational presented by MasterCard. Soaring high above Bay Hill on a very pleasant day. Golf Channel bringing you round one coverage of the Arnold Palmer Invitational presented by MasterCard. Tiger Woods out this morning along with Ernie Els and Justin Rose. Tiger, the defending champion, seven times a winner here. This for Eagle at the par 5 16th. Tiger shooting 3 under 69 off to a very good start. <laughs> Meanwhile, Justin Rose red hot and he putted brilliantly. 25 putts for Rose. Also a Sean Foley pupil like Tiger for birdie at seven. Justin Rose, seven under 65 to lead. In our coverage this afternoon, Phil Mickelson, who won Bay Hill in 1997, won earlier this year in Scottsdale after having hit it in the water here at the par 5 sixth. That is vintage Phil for par. He bogeyed a couple of holes early, but has scratched his way back. Bill Haas from 117 yards at that par 5 sixth, his third shot. And bottom of the barrel, Bill Haas. Lots of crowd pleasing moments just the way the host likes it. And now the day one leaderboard presented by Titleist, the number one ball in golf. Justin Rose, very consistent again in 2013. He was fourth at Honda, eighth at Doral. Tiger, four birdies, that eagle we saw, and three bogeys on his card. Haas, the early climber. Watney and Hoffman played well, and Ishikawa has struggled of late, but writes the ship on day one here. We saw Bill Haas hold out from 117. Now at number eight, Rich Lerner alongside Frank Nabilo. Scary second shot at the best of times because of the forced carry. Tennessee always hit it just a little past the flag, unless you're Bill Haas. And you think Arnold wouldn't like to hand this guy the trophy come Sunday afternoon? Hunter Mahan. Much longer drive helps. What a shot, Hunter Mahan. <laughs> Well, I guess it's not the hardest on the golf course. Some shot. Now, the the rocks, the rocks is so much in play in this shot. What is that? Three feet, maybe four feet. To number ten. Here's a former champion at the Arnold Palmer Invitational, presented by Mastercard, Tim Heron. I spoke to him on the range yesterday. He's actually happy with the way he's putting. Well, Bang, Tim Heron. There you go. John Huh with his birdie attempt. Goes about his business very quietly, except when he makes long birdie attempts to get to four under par. Little uphill, a little on the slow side. At the 10th, Phil Mickelson has a 12 foot putt to save par. Is digging in, holding firm, and relying on that putter. Garcia and Snedeker both missed their birdie putt. John Hull has a lengthy birdie putt at the 18th. This this goes down to be for three in a row. Not very good too at 17 he made. Yes, John Hull. 
What a way to finish there. Out in 31. 2012 Rookie of the Year won Mayakoba last year. A big playoff with Robert Allenby. Back at the 10th, Bill Haas for birdie. The difficult thing about this putt is that at the end it straightens out, and he saw Bubba's do exactly that, so see if he can get it online. It is. It has it all going today. Charles Howell III lives nearby. This is for birdie. I think breaks to the right. That's where the water is. Good touch. To the 12th, Mickelson trying for his fourth birdie of the day. Yeah. Gotta look, Bill. Zach Johnson, former Masters champion, this for birdie. Well, this is the end of that difficult stretch. The first three holes playing very hard today. Yes. Sergio Garcia had it 25 feet below the hole. Brant Snedeker two putted for his par. Of course, we saw Mickelson leave his short, but not Garcia. Watch this one. Dead center. So Garcia gets back to plus one to the fifth. John Ha uh, now bogey free on his round. Got a nice break when the ball released from the grass into the bunker. And look at this right there. John Ha uh, holds his bunker shot to get closer to Justin Rose. Just one back now at six under. Let's take another look at that. Professionals would rather play from the sand every time than play from the gnarly rough around the green because you can make a big swing, spin the ball, and do just that right there. Very nice for John Ha. Huh. A bogey at nine would put Ha huh two back from leader Justin Rose. Rose carded six birdies along with an eagle at the 16th to put him at the top of the leaderboard. John Rollins, Tiger Woods, and Nick Watney are among those vying for the top spot and looking to continue the American win streak this season. The second round is next. And another pleasant afternoon in Central Florida. We're 10 miles from downtown Orlando. It's round two of the Arnold Palmer Invitational presented by MasterCard at the Bay Hill Club and Lodge. Bill Haas certainly put the disappointment of a bogey bogey finish in round one behind him very quickly. He was brilliant today. Rich Lerder alongside Frank Navalo. Yeah, these greens are sort of running over 12. They've got a lovely roll to them. And this morning though was smooth. This afternoon though, Justin Rose here at the second. They're a little fierier. Yes, Rose who led overnight with a seven under 65. Haas, by the way, shot a bogey free six under 66. Folks, this is how you play a par five. At the sixth hole, Tiger Woods, after opening in 369. Well, that's how you reduce that par five to nothing more than a drive and a mid on. The carry on that line, Rich, is 280 yards. As you can see, this looks like nothing more than a six iron. And after a tee shot, this was no surprise. Right at it. So Tiger made eagle at the par 5 16th yesterday for another. Yes, Tiger Woods three under on his round six under overall and just three back of Justin Rose and our coverage at the Arnold Palmer Invitational presented by MasterCard. To 14 Robert Allen be for birdie. He desperately wants to make a cut. He's completely lost form this year. That'll help. This is Sang Moon Bay now at the par five sixth with his third shot. Ooh, whoa. Oh, whoa. And the birdie attempt to be in Poulter here at the ninth this is from 26 feet. Keegan Bradley has already made par. Well, this looks good. Yeah. Lovely birdie on a difficult par four. Sean O'Hare with his third shot from the bunker. Look at this touch. Ooh, lands her on the apron. Oh, and it goes in there. How about that? The fourth eagle of the day at 16, Sean O'Hare. To the seventh hole, Justin Hicks. And from one side of the green, putting across to the other. 
Did you set this flag today? It's all tight. Ooh. <laughs> yes, sir. There was nothing to it. Yeah. This is Richard Lee's fourth from just beyond the green. Gonna get over that ridge and creep down the hill. It's going to creep enough. Oh, yeah. Look like that from Richard Lee. Gets back to even par. It seems for Tiger Woods. Let's go to 18. And long birdie putt for Gary Woodland. There's always a fun putt to have. Fast turns right at the end. Yeah. And especially when you make it. Wow. Number two. Other side of the golf course now, last week's winner of the Tampa Bay Championship, Kevin Streelman for birdie. Just off the putting surface, but using his putter, and looks a lot like last week. That's the seventh birdie of the day at number two. And Ricky Fowler for birdie. Ooh. Athlete as entertainer. Endorser. And now Rose for his birdie in the outright lead. Ooh, sneaks it in and Justin Rose. Birdie to get to double digits now. Five on holes cut on the right. Five paces from the right side. Look out. Look out. Yeah. Bottom of the barrel. <laughs> How about that? How about that? Green's too soft, isn't it? <laughs> oh, my. Gary Woodland on the tee. Gary still searching, trying to get his game back in order. Saw him win the Tampa Bay Championship a couple of years ago. Oh, that's a nice shot there at the par three. Whew. Gary Woodland would go on to birdie and move to three under. And Tiger Woods birdie putt here at the 13th. Just a little over 18 feet. You've seen this putt miss to the right mostly. Seen many people make it from here. It does go a little right in the area of the cup, but Tiger figured it out with his record around here. I guess he doesn't miss read many. The sixth, Peter. I want you to watch this uh, scenario. Graham Dillette playing his third shot here at the par five just a moment ago. 83 yards, flies it into the hole. Ball rolls all the way back off the green. I mean, just a horrendous break. You can see his reaction club on the ground, hat in the air. So after Graham plays, next player is Chad Campbell. Chad about a yard closer to the hole than Graham. <laughs> I mean, the, the look on Dillette's face, he's plus three. So if that ball goes in the hole, he's at plus one. Then Chad Campbell plays this from 82 yards and there's the hole out about those two shots back to back at the sixth. We'll go over to the eighth. And Boo Weekly. This is all over water. Oh. Yeah, I see some shots his last half an hour. Weekly is left with a tap in birdie that would get him to two under. Back at the sixth, Graham Dillette for birdie. Let's see uh, what happens here. Birdie putt of just over 40 feet. Yes. <laughs> oh, so the golf gods give it. They take it away and they give it back. How about that reaction? He certainly deserved birdie. 13 now Ian Poulter from just over 18 feet. But it should move back to the left toward the rear part of the green a little. Straightened up by the hole. Third birdie in a row. Peter Williamson had his adventures in the water. Struggled on day one. Uh, the amateur 
about that, Frank? Bang! <laughs> and a walk-off chipping. Uh, he won the Southern Amateur, and that's how he got into this field. He's a very fine player out of Dartmouth, three-time Ivy League Player of the Year. What's the follow-through on this? This is like... <laughs> Talk about slicing the legs off it. <laughs> 15. Johnson Wagner for birdie. You can see he's four over. The cut is jumping back and forth between two and three over. So that's going to help the cause for Johnson. Up at 17, Jeff Ogilvy actually playing first out of the bunker. Whoa! <laughs> Before Robert Garrigus, so they wouldn't have to re rake the bunker and reposition things. Just the sixth birdie of the day recorded here at 17. Our leader, Justin Rose, looks to close out the second round with a par. So that was a tepid stroke right there. And a disappointing finish for both Tiger Woods and Justin Rose. But Rose still has a share of the lead with Bill Haas, who shot 66 today. Tiger in with 70 and four shots back. The third round is next. It is instantly recognizable, and along with Arnie, the Bay Hill Club and Lodge has had a grip on the PGA Tour now for 35 consecutive years, and it's Palmer-esque through and through, big and bold, classic look, enduring, and a good leaderboard going for Arnie's 2013 version. Rose and Haas tied at the top. John Ha, last year's PGA Tour Rookie of the Year, awakening here this season, finally. And then you've got Tiger Woods, who just birdied the six. In a big jam at seven under as he is in search of his eighth win here at Bay Hill, which would tie Sam Snead's all time record for wins at a PGA Tour event. Tiger playing today with 32 year old Spaniard Gonzalo Fernandez Castaño, his third from the right of the green. Very dangerous pitch shot. If you hit it too hard, go right in the water. Looks darn good. It's better than good. It's in for Eagle as Fernandez Castaño goes to seven under. Over to the final group at four. And from just off the front of the green uphill, this would be a putt on the slow side. It should drift just slightly right. There's not a lot of break in this putt. Two putt birdie with, for the lead. See if he gets the eagle. Oh, a one putt eagle for Rose, who's had an incredible start. Wow, two birdies and an eagle in the first four holes, and Rose takes a two-shot lead. And here is Tiger on the tee. Going with a seven iron. Sets up really nice for his cut. Sounded a little bit not, he didn't hit down on it, let's put it that way. Oh! But the ball almost went down. Does a little dance just right of the cup. Let's go to 16. Ryan Stewart with his third shot from 81 yards. You can see Ryan has reached six under par. Well, after this shot, he would go on to make that putt for a birdie to reach seven under par. Back at seven, all that is left for Tiger to move it to eight under. Pretty special stuff there, Johnny. That was a laser-like seven iron there. At seven. Yeah, two perfectly played holes in a row now. Sergio Garcia for birdie at 11, coming off a birdie at 10. Kind of a ho hum front nine, even par, ended with a bogey at nine, but Sergio has back to back birdies to start the back nine. As we go to eight. And Tiger for his par, Nota. John, if he doesn't release on this, it will break across the hole. It's a tough putt right here. Well done, Tiger remains bogey free. Eight under par, three under on the day. In search of his eighth win in 16 starts as a pro here at Bay Hill. Gow to the action at six. Third shot for Justin Rose, this from 82 yards. Should be able to control the spin, I would think. Fairly full lob wedge. Uh, does it nicely. 
We go to nine. Tiger now from 100, oh, excuse me, from 70 yards, 69 yards with his third. Got a great break off the tee. Let's see if he can save par here somehow. Oh, what a shot. Boy, he pulled the string on that, didn't he? All right, back at six. Rose with the chance to uh, get to 14 under. And back uphill a little bit should move right toward the water. Moved quite a bit. You know, sometimes when you win golf tournaments, you remember the, the putts you made on the last hole or the great chip you hit coming down the stretch, but you don't think about the snap hook tee shot <laughs> at holes in the third round that bounced back in the fairway or at least back in play. And that's exactly what Tiger is looking at here. This from about four and a half feet to save par on what could have been a double bogey. Or triple. Yeah. Can't remember that part, John. Wow, what a break that might turn out to be. Keegan Bradley put for birdie two from just over 30 feet. How about it? Keegan Bradley with his eighth birdie of the day. Seven under par in his round, eight under par for the tournament. Par by 12, we go. Third shot for Ricky Fowler. Front left hole location. He's on the right side of the fairway, so good angle. See if he can get it to stop. Oh, nice. Now, this is 15, yes. Says it's a little slightly into the wind, right to left. I know right, no cameras now. Thank you. Yes, definitely. And he's got a great line, the primary rough, and he's got the L wedge out. You feeling okay with that lie, even with the little bit of rain we had? The angle? I, think it's, I think it's almost all down on this angle. Come in here. John, I think that's the only concern is that it might just float on him just ever so slightly with a little bit of moisture on the grass. He's already hit two short iron shots way long on, uh, what was it, five and also on eight. Eight in the back bunker. Got you. Well, that wasn't long. It was about a foot and a half or so short. Wow, that's a great shot, great distance control. Another example, Johnny, of this crisp iron play that we've been seeing from Tiger through this resurgence. Yeah, he's hit some fantastic shots and hit a couple in different shots, but then different ones haven't cost him. Now Rose for par at seven. Well, he three putted 18th yesterday, didn't he? Uh, that downhiller and. Um, there's another three putt, but the approach shot might have caused it, but he should not have missed that putt. It's just uphill. First drop shot for Rose today. Back to 12. Ricky Fowler for birdie to reach seven under. And does. Good round going for Ricky. Three under par and his uh, Saturday effort. Justin Rose with the three putt at the seventh lead now just two. Well, how about this one at the 10th? Mark Wilson, his third. Tough shot, no green to work with. And that'll speed up play even more. Yeah, that is very nice. And up ahead at 15, Ian Poulter for birdie. Boy, it seems all we see this guy do is make big putts. So it gets Poulter to four under. Ricky Fowler now from 42 feet. Not much movement in this putt, fairly straight. This would be a second birdie in a row. He's putting really well, Peter. Got a beautiful stroke, and boom, there you go. So Ricky Fowler moves to eight. That's how you speed up play, John. Just make just one putt every green. We're on the ninth green with John Ha putting for par. Nine under and three back. Big momentum save there for John Ha. Huh? All right, at 16, Poulter, second shot, 213 yards out of the rough. Whoa. How about this shot? Uh, very impressive, so a good chance for an eagle there. Mark Wilson for birdie over at 11.
With that 12 foot birdie putt, Wilson moves to seven under. To 16. Ian Poulter with a chance for a three here at the par five, just under 12 feet. Poulter picks up three strokes through two holes to move him to six under. Rose trying to save his par. By the way, Haas made another do double, so two double bogeys for the second round co leader Haas today, who's fallen to eight under, and Rose to keep the lead at 12 under. And Rose's tap in bogey cuts his lead to two. Back at 14. How about this shot for Tiger, Nota? He's got a perfect lie. How about running in the cup? That was textbook. Small swing, hit pretty close to the ball, effortless, and he thought he had it with a mm -hmm. cut spin. Born Olison with his second shot from 156 yards. You can see he's just four behind. After that good drive, he goes with a really big swing on this short iron. And uh, pays off. Oh. A lot of spin. He started off with five birdies in the first six holes and now has a chance to end it with two in the last three to post eight under. Justin Rose, a good place to play from. Not happy with his second, but sometimes, Johnny, uh, your misses, if you play them in the right spot, turn out okay. That was a beautiful pitch. Rose would go on to tap in for birdie and move to 10 under. Tiger Woods on the 15th green from 18 feet to pull within two, Noda. Very so, slow putt, Peter, straight up the hill. Overall, a little left to right. We'll straighten out toward the end. 15 today, back into the wind. In fact, it's the hardest green to hit in regulation today, under 50%. So this is a great opportunity to get one back for Tiger. Boy, right in the heart. Kenny Duke, the 44 year old, putting from the back of the 15th green, this from 50 feet. Up and down and through the swales here at 15. And boom, Kenny Duke makes birdie three at 15, gets him to seven under and just four back. Up at the 16th, Tiger Woods has a lengthy eagle putt to get within one of leader Justin Rose. Got it! Tiger Woods to 11 under par. And he is Four of four now for 15 to 20 feet in putts this week. And how about this? The first player with three Eagles in the same tournament week here since 2001 when Phil Mickelson did it. Haas at the 15th in this collection area just left of the green. And that chip in moves him to eight under and three off the lead. 18. And here is the par attempt. It's a quick putt, maybe left edge. Oh, it just drops. And yeah, this is an impressive performance by the 32 year old, six time winner on the European Tour, a 68, playing with Tiger, and a forward around 68. And this just got in on the right edge. This for par and the six under third round. that third straight bogey with a sand save at 18 a 66 which ties the best round of the day with Matt Every Keegan Bradley Torbjorn Olison and Tiger is back in the driver's seat at Bay Hill.
Sitting two behind the defending champion, Justin Rose, Ricky Fowler, and John Ha head into the final round, all vying for their first Arnold Palmer Invitational victory. The final round is next. We are now bringing you final round coverage of the Arnold Palmer Invitational at Bay Hill Club and Lodge in Orlando, Florida, where Tiger Woods started two up from the pack, searching for an astonishing eighth win. Out of the second hole, Tiger Woods looks to hit this three iron close to the pin. Now left with a 15 foot birdie putt. Tiger converts and his lead is extended to three but inclement weather quickly became an unwanted adversary and suspended play until the following day. Tiger's momentum came to a halt with the stoppage of play, but holds on to a three-stroke lead over Ricky Fowler, Keegan Bradley, Ken Duke, and John Ha, all sitting at nine under. Thanks to tireless efforts from the grounds crew after a storm tore through Arnie's place, Bay Hill is now poised for a Monday finish. As we go up to the sixth again, Wilson with his third. From 85 yards, and this is usually in his wheelhouse. Wilson will have that left for birdie. Fernandez Castaño for a birdie at the par five. Beginning this final round at eight under, and Fernandez Castaño picking it up to nine under. Mark Wilson with this five footer for birdie to reach nine under par. And does it very nicely. Wilson not a long hitter, but uh, is going along well here at a course that uh, you would think would favor long hitters. Up ahead on the green, Torbjorn Olesen, who's playing with Fernandez Castaño, who just birdied. And the man from Denmark also matches Fernandez Castaño at nine under. Put for Bradley is to get to 10 under and just uh, two off the lead. Takes advantage of the par five, moves within two. Up to 16. And Carl Peterson has a lengthy putt here for an eagle just over 45 feet down the slope. And the first eagle of the final round here. Over at six, Fernandez Castaño with his third, playing a little European style bump and run there. To the fourth and Tiger Woods for birdie. This from just outside 12 feet where he has been deadly. And yet another one, just amazing. to 13 under. He wasn't thrilled with his first putt of the day, but boy was that drilled in the center. Back to the sixth, where Fernandez Castaño has a chance for his second birdie of the day. Got his feet right together. Don't see that very often, do you? No. And a nice birdie moves him to 10 under par. Over to six. Justin Rose with a chance for a three here at the par five, just over 28 feet. It's the one that moves left toward the back of the green. Rose would tap in and move to eight under. Over to seven for Ken Duke. This would be a heck of a birdie into the wind on this hole. And this would be a heck of a way to break into the PGA Tour win column at age 44. Now Woods ready with his third. And a good lie in the bunker here has to carry it about to 25, 30 feet to get it to the green surface in line with the hole, but uh, certainly doable. Get in the hole! Nice, very nice. Beautifully done. Very easy to let that one run uh, eight or 10 feet by the hole. And over to the eighth, Justin Rose is second. It's from 150. Wow. 
And maybe Rose can get his game going back in the right direction here by the end of the day. Back to the sixth. Tiger Woods has a chance for birdie to extend his lead to four. Surprisingly, as well as he's putted, Rods, the, the only problem he's had, and if you call it a problem, I mean, he has missed a couple of fairly short putts. Uh, but that was uh, early in the early going, first couple of rounds. They were both uh, left to right putts, and his own admission, he said he blocked both of those, didn't release the putter enough. Up and down for birdie. Tiger Woods to 14 under par. His 45th birdie or better in his last two starts, including his win at the WGC Cadillac Championship down at Doral. Rose at eight for birdie. Yes. There's a left to right putt he got in there. To the tenth. Mark Wilson rolled in the birdie putt to get the ten under and a tie for second with Fernandez Castaño. Ricky Fowler in the rough at eight with his second shot. He's only had one good look at a birdie, and I guess that would have been uh, the second hole uh, that he, they played in the previous day. That was yesterday, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> in the hole. yeah this. Uh, on a pretty good line, a little right of the hole, got a lot of club on yeah, it. Yeah, looked like a good That's pass good through the rough. There. Yeah, Roger. That is really good. And yeah. Fowler might just get his first birdie out of this when it didn't look like he really had much of a chance. And now Tiger has 161 left. Back in a stand. Wants it to get down. Most PGA Tour victories in a single event. Of course, Tiger chasing Sam Snead today with an eighth victory here at the API. He's got all those other victories, seven that line up as well. From 11 feet, where Tiger this week in the 10 to 15 foot distance is seven of eight. Well, Roger, just a gentle breaker to the right. Yeah, huh? just a little breaker, just eke a little to the right, putting uphill slightly. For him, not that hard a putt. First bogey for Tiger since the third round at the 13th hole. And so he's back to 13 under, lead still four with the latest 10 under numbers coming off the board. Second shot for Jimmy Walker, this 10th, some 18 yards up, so just a 382 yard hole. Yeah, it's just, a, even though it's a tough hole location with a wedge, it's just a great birdie opportunity, and there you go. Look at this, watch it. And Walker would convert the birdie to move to seven under. And Justin Rose is second at the ninth. He's on a little run here. A flawless swing of his. And it's a pretty flawless shot. Over at the tenth, Walker for his first birdie of the final round. And Walker is back up to seven under, still plus one. John Rollins on the tee at the par 3 14th, 201 yards. Back into the wind. And that's really a good shot. Thank you. Really Stuff, good. Stuffs it right in there. And Ian Poulter for birdie. Over at the short par 4 13th, and Poulter moves it back to 200. Rollins for birdie at 14. And he finishes off that beautiful tee shot, but a rough final round for Rollins. Got started yesterday with a double bogey at the third. Tiger in more trouble at the ninth.
Fowler for birdie. Is it in? And he's finally got one at the ninth to get to 10 under. Wow, that was unexpected. We go back to 10. And Mark, another good opportunity here for Rose to make a run and continue this birdie run. Yeah, really good opportunity. And he has gotten very aggressive in this round. Hit a beautiful driver off the tee to get it to that 71 yard mark. Rose said he just lost his legs in that third round 72 down the stretch. Said he just got fatigued. Just can't really explain it. That's what stress will do for you, though. It really does. It affects people in different ways, but he definitely was feeling the pressure with Tiger right there with him. Cyan Poulter come into the 15th here. Now for birdie from the collar. Orlando resident. Poulter over Lake Nona rolling it in. Here is Tiger to stay at the 13 under number. Roger. And now has left himself a good uh, six plus feet. And it's green hurting into the left, John. Do you think but he, you got to hit solid. Do you think he was really focusing on keeping it, you know, underneath the hole, and that's why he's way over there? I mean, he didn't want it to be that far over, but he must have been thinking, I don't want that putt right of the hole. Right, I would agree with that. Well, certainly, and he just saw Ricky's putt, which was virtually the same putt. So, yeah, yeah. gave him know, the pace and everything. He wasn't fooled, let's put it that way. So this is right into the grain. Dead, you know, there's not much grain, but it's there's a grain there. And he is number one this week in strokes gained putting. He's also number one in course knowledge and wins, and number one usually in thinking. So, and playing under pressure if you want to keep the list going. Wind really gusting, but Tiger powers through it all and saves the par. The one thing I've noticed in Tiger's career, Roger, is that he has made more path, putts please. right dead middle of the hole in his career than anybody I've ever seen by far. Over to the 15th. Henrik Stenson from long range for birdie. Stenson at five under and moving it to six under. One under on his final round. And back at 12. And Fowler lining up a much longer birdie putt than he should have, Raj. Now this one without a chance. Ricky Fowler. Oh, how about that? My what goodness. Unexpected uh, birdie there. Second of the round. Lose to 11 under par. All pars, two birdies. Mm -hmm. This thing is inching closer to being more interesting by the hole, Gary. Yeah, with I Fowler's like little smile yeah. with uh, his caddy, Joe Scavron. Would expect Tiger with all his experience here. It's a whole location the guys do see on a pretty regular basis. But he might be able to figure it out. Definitely got it over there to the left. How about this? An answer by Tiger Woods. And now 13 under par on the par fives for the week. And the lead remains three. That's uh, kind of vintage Tiger. <laughs> John Ha is up at 15 with his second. He's fallen all the way down to four under. Plus five on this final round. Five bogeys. Been pretty inconsistent this year after being rookie of the year last year. But he'll get it going. I got confidence in him. Hub would go on to birdie and move to five under. Back at the 14th, Ricky Fowler has a lengthy birdie putt. Can he make another one? Yes! Wow! 
Wow, you don't get too many lip ins with these sharp edges. Now Woods for par. This has got a little left in it. Not much, but probably inside right edge. Right center. Gets it on the left side. But even with a nice par save for Tiger, he sees his lead trim from three to two with four holes to play. 17. Jimmy Walker, second shot here at the par three. And why not? <laughs> back to back birdies now for Jimmy Walker, and he's at seven under par. Good comeback for him. He was all the way back to uh, five under par just a few holes ago. Back to uh, Rose for the birdie. Okay, safely in, so he's at 11 under. With two very difficult holes left to play. Tiger Woods at the 15th to save par. Knows these greens backwards and forward. Early walk, knew it right away. Wow, so no damage done. After Ricky Fowler's triple bogey on 16 dropped him back to eight under par, Justin Rose aims for solo second. Justin Rose for birdie here at 18. If he can get this down to get to 12 under, Tigers hit it well right behind him. But it's going to be 11 under for Rose to wrap up second. That's for a 200 par round and uh, put him, uh, keep him at 11 under and uh, well played hole. Back in the fairway with Woods. I don't think this is going to be going at the flag. No, he's going to aim this left at all. It's a hard pitch. The safety, safety, safety. You remember okay. the shot he hit at Doral and then on the 72nd hole and almost went in the water. He wasn't going to do that again. He's a very smart player, obviously. And, Knows with a three shot lead. Doesn't have to be pretty, Phil. <laughs> and a year removed from that first official PGA Tour victory in quite some time, which came right here at Bay Hill. Tiger is going to continue a phenomenal 2013 season, which has everybody talking about getting back to those glory days. And again, this is his final tune-up before the first major of the year and I know Johnny there's a lot of people out here who are not going to be believers in Tiger's full comeback until he gets it done at a major are, are you in that same group I think the Masters is so important for him you know three times he's won before the Masters in uh, 2000 2003 and 2008 and didn't win the Masters any one of those three times but he he needs a major I mean he really the more this goes on the tougher it is to get the next one uh, so, you know, it'll be interesting to see the lead up before that. But um, his game looks good and his putting is fantastic and his irons are really good. He can work a little bit with his driving. It's almost, you know, that the chase on Sam Snead, he's catching Sam and that tying that all time PGA Tour record with wins at one event. But, you know, it's the 82 wins by Snead that gets overshadowed a bit because Tigers put so much focus on the race for Jack's 18 major mm -hmm. titles. But this is going to be win number 77, five away from Snead. It's a great record. It really is. I mean, Jack Nicholas really started promoting the majors, how much they were so much more important in a regular tour win. Um, I think almost out of context, to be honest with you, but everybody's bought into it. But uh, the all time mark by Snead is an amazing mark to try to beat. Looks pretty much a done deal. Where are you, Roger, right behind this? Yeah, I'm just to the left of the green here as the players walk off, John. And, you know, this is a putt he's seen how many times before? A little yeah. longer, maybe, but the idea is the same. Kind of sweep to the right. Yeah, it sweeps to the right and flattens out at the yeah, hole. By the hole, hole cut a little closer to the front of the yeah. green than I remember it being in the past. Yeah, everybody's missed uh, the putt from this side to the high. So many side. incredible moments by Tiger on this 72nd hole in need of a birdie to win. <laughs> How about 
about this one? How about that one? That almost <laughs> came in. That would have been the best score of all time. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Roger. And this would have been some four. <laughs> Seen that look at the 18th hole here after sunset. Final moments of previous Bay Hills. Ernie and Kit also thought that one was going to drop as well. Tiger Woods has got win number eight at Bay Hill, number one in the world again. Maybe that'll actually help Rory McIlroy take the heat off him being number one and set him free again. Fell all the way to 58. He's back on top. That was a good climb, wasn't it? Yes, it was. And there were a lot of people that didn't think he was going to even get that win last year. Well, six wins in 20 starts since. It's the familiar Tiger run, and here comes the handshake and the greeting with the king. Thank you. Try to get him around. Yeah. Oh, you, okay. you laid up. Okay. Okay. I know. How about that, huh? <laughs> that is smart. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. With this win, Tiger Woods vaults to first in the FedEx Cup standings and number one in the world and matches Sam Snead's record of eight victories in a single event. This concludes this week's race for the FedEx Cup and the PGA Tour's coverage of the 2013 Arnold Palmer Invitational presented by MasterCard from Bay Hill Club and Lodge in Orlando, Florida. You laid up that. I know, how about that, huh? <laughs> that is smart. <laughs>